Here in D-Town, G-Town, people are protesting the recent ban on butter in local grocery stores. The Federal Scientific Research Unit of Addictive Substances, or FSRUAS, has found several addictive ingredients in butter sticks and the FDA has started holding back on sales. How do you, Shirley? Here we see two butter addicts engaging in an illegal butter exchange. Since the ban, butter prices have risen immensely on the black market. In their desperation, addicts will pay unreasonable sums. Here we are with Dr. Jane Westfield, an expert in the butter field. We interviewed her on her research on the addictiveness of butter. Let's hear what she had to say. Well, you see, um, based on the test results and all the studies we've had, as you see here, um, children, since their amygdalas are not fully developed yet, um, the butter has a different effect on their brain, causing them to make harsher decisions and sometimes go, as the kids would put it, crazy. In severe instances, butter addictions have led people to violence. We've seen many injuries emanating from butter-related arguments. As you see, people lose all ability to reason once butter enters the situation. Why are we just seeing these side effects now after years of butter consumption in America? Well, scientists are attributing this uh, recent change to a genetic mutation that's showing up in uh, a lot of the younger population, which is really why we're seeing it a lot with um, children and young adults. Um, but really, we're not completely sure why this mutation causes this such atrocious reaction. Karen, an involved member in our community, raised some concerns on the butter crisis. We interviewed her to get another perspective on the issue. Hello ma'am, um, may I ask, what's your experience with butter? My experience with butter? I've never touched that evil substance in my life. Well, do you know anyone who struggled with a butter addiction? Now what kind of person do you think I am? Absolutely not. Now, what is the average Kentucky citizen supposed to do if they witness others partaking in the selling or consumption of butter? Um, I would recommend contacting the authorities immediately. Um, it doesn't matter if they're your friends or your family, and no one is safe from this. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Talk to Rachel about her addiction, among other things. Let's see what she had to say. My addiction started a few years ago when my sister passed. It started as a small thing, putting it on my bread every morning before work, and in the span of a week, it snowballed into doing it every day, skipping school with people I didn't even know. To Go do butter. An anonymous source provided us with another interview. Hello there, sir. Can I ask you a few questions concerning butter? Uh, sure, I guess. Um, well, about... Would you mind telling me about how much money do you spend on butter? Well, um, I, I'd say I eat, and, I eat and buy about three sticks of butter a day. Like... One for breakfast, one for lunch, and dessert, and mm -hmm. if I can't get any butter, I'll get butter-like products, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have one final question for you today. Have you come in contact in butter since the recent ban? No comments. The butter crisis has led to a collapse in our community and overall society. Will we recover? Well, as long as you play your part and stay away from butter, we can. We will.